After posting this video, I knew that there were two questions I would probably get. First, how the heck are SSRIs working if they're not targeting low levels of serotonin? It has been shown that in people with depression, certain brain areas are reduced in size. And it's actually been shown that SSRIs can increase the volume of certain brain areas. How? Well, serotonin is very much involved in neuroplasticity. Enhancing serotonin signaling with SSRIs might promote the formation of new synapses. Now, supporting this hypothesis is psilocybin, psychedelic mushrooms. They act on the serotonin 2A receptor and they induce rapid and intense neuroplasticity. And lo and behold, psilocybin has been shown to be helpful for people with depression. It seems to me that the neuroscience field is beginning to accept or has already accepted this idea that SSRIs increase neuroplasticity. So whether or not serotonin is the original problem doesn't really matter because ultimately SSRIs do seem to be addressing the problems that we can observe. Now second, I said that Tucker Carlson's misinformation was dangerous. Here's why. Tucker Carlson says that SSRIs don't work and that people should stop taking them and doctors should stop prescribing them. That's a big problem. If you abruptly stop taking an SSRI, it's very likely that you'll experience withdrawal symptoms that may be severe. This is just how the biology of the brain and these drugs work. If you want to take a ding on SSRIs for it, go ahead. I'm with you. I wish withdrawal didn't happen, but it does happen. When you stop taking these medications, you're supposed to carefully wean off over the course of several weeks or months. That way, you minimize the withdrawal effects that you experience. 